So here's a garden update. It's been, I believe, nine weeks now since I planted everything. This is the mix of wildflowers. As you can see, it's gone kind of insane. And um, I do finally have one blossom. <laughs> and hopefully we'll have a bunch more soon. Um, I had to thin out a lot of it because it was kind of taken over. Oops, I gotta get out of the shadows here. Um, there's my romaine. It's doing really, really well, finally. Um, I just had a snow pea off of, I mean, a sugar snap pea from the vines there earlier today. And oh my God, best ever. So good. Um, actually, those are, I think those are sugar. Yeah, those are sugar snaps. The other ones are snows. Um, more romaine. We got red leaf. It's grown really well. Spinach kind of sucked. I don't know. Kind of giving up on the spinach. The kale's looking really good. I'm going to pick some this tonight, in fact, for a salad. And uh, you can see the, here, let's go look at a snow or a sugar snap pea. They're down in here. See? Pretty. But uh, this trellis has worked out real well. It's just a string trellis. You can buy them at uh, Home Depot for like five bucks, I think it was. Um, and then this is shallots. The cabbage, I actually, it's already bolting. And bolting is when it already starts going to seed. And um, I realized too that I really didn't like the taste of this cabbage. It's very bitter. It's more like a romaine texture, but that's not what I expected for cabbage. I wanted like, you know, the kind of cabbage that you cook and eat kind of cabbage, but or make a coleslaw with, but yeah, this stuff's gross. So there were six plants here and I just yanked out three to make, give them more room, but I think I'm gonna pull all three out and put something else there because it's just kind of useless. It just tastes really gross. Um, the black Brussels sprouts are doing awesome. There's six plants here and um, they're just so nice and healthy and happy looking. So I'm really psyched about um, getting some really good Brussels sprouts. Uh, the artichoke, he looks kind of wimpy, but he looks healthy, so. And he's got tons of room around him. Um, and then over here, some of this is still a work in progress, but we've got two blueberry plants. Um, the green thing is only because my tap is whacked. My landlord's got to fix it. It sprays water everywhere, so I'm trying not to flood the bed here. I'm trying to divert the water away from the house. But the blueberry plants are doing really well. They've already got some blueberries growing on them too, which would be awesome to have some blueberries probably this summer. Um, we've got uh, the body parts of my dead boyfriend. No, actually, um, this is going to be a pumpkin and squash patch. And uh, I read how you're supposed to do it is make little mounds. And then each mound, you put like four seeds in. And then once they start to grow in, the, you keep just one of the strongest plants. And you don't pull them out because you disturb the roots, but you just cut them. So kind of a cool idea because you obviously don't want to overcrowd. And that way you have the luck of the draw of having, you know, survival of the fittest. Seems kind of Hitlerish, doesn't it? The rest of you must die. Anyway, so this is a big pumpkin. We've got white pumpkins and then uh, yellow squash. Hopefully I don't get censored because my music playing. We've got some uh, dianthus here. It's gotten trampled, so. Uh, we've got jasmine, which is really awesome because I can smell it in my bedroom. And some petunias, but these were just planted a week, couple weeks ago, so they should take a bit to spread out. <laughs> Jake, you're in the way. And then if you want an easy way to make a border, I actually found these bricks for free. Someone was giving them away on the internet. And all you do is shovel a little, I've never tried this before, but you just shovel a little trench and then take the bricks and then use a rubber mallet to kind of tap them in a bit and then put soil black around them. Kind of cool, I like the way it looks. It's very kind of rustic and cool looking. Um, and I don't know, I need to over here put a border, but I have these other bricks over there, but they've got a bunch of mortar to chip off them. And I'm thinking it'd be better to just buy a bag of um, rocks because I kind of like the look of this here, just rocks. That if I just got a kind of bunch of rocks like that and just had a trench going here, as you can see, that was someone had put like um, old wood here and it was just rotted away. And so I've been gradually pulling it out as I go along. And aren't these like the, I'm hoping these fade in the sun a bit, but these red chips are like freaking ugly ass color. <laughs> I didn't realize they were so ugly. I thought they were going to be like cedar colored. But anyway, so that's my backyard. And uh, looks pretty cool. I still can't believe I found a place with this much space for me and doggy and kitties and gardening space already. Those beds were already there, which is so awesome. I just had to weed it out and cut that tree back and put new soil in. So pretty awesome. Okay, Jakey. Oh, and Jakey's continuing to do better. He feels great. He's happy out in the sunshine.